Remember from the previous section that absolute value represents distance from zero. So if the absolute value of x is greater than two, that means that x's distance from zero is greater than two units. On a number line, the points that are greater than two units from zero would be all points greater than two or all points less than negative two. So if we're given this absolute value inequality, we can split things up into two separate inequalities. Either x is greater than two or x is less than negative two. Our first inequality will look just like the original problem, minus the absolute value signs. In our second inequality, we must switch the direction of the inequality sign and make the right side negative. The word that goes between our two inequalities is based on the direction of the inequality sign in the original problem. Since we have a greater than sign in the original problem, we use the word or. So our final answer can be written, the set of all x's such that x is greater than two or x is less than negative two.